1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. From the 1480 Newsroom, I'm Phil Kuhn. A body found Wednesday evening in Marshall County is to believe to be that of a 22-year-old South Bend woman last seen in early April. The body that police say is that of Alma Del Real was found in the area of State Road 10 and Queen Road near Culver Academy. Police say they received information from the suspect in Del Real's death that led them to the discovery. And now 24-year-old Alberto Cruz has been booked into the St. Joseph County Jail on a preliminary charge of murder. An autopsy was scheduled to be conducted today. A Syracuse business has plans to double in size. The Syracuse Town Council has approved a final tax abatement to double the size of the company from 230 to 480 employees by building a 300,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing building. Hollywood will invest $23.275 million to construct and equip the new manufacturing and warehouse facility. The Indiana Economic Development Corporation offered Hollywood Incorporated up to $1.8 million in conditional tax credits based on the company's job creation plans. These tax credits are performance-based, meaning until Hoosiers are hired, the company is not eligible to claim incentives. Your weather's coming up in 15 seconds. Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on U.S. 30 East in Warsaw. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, tonight will be mostly clear and cool with a low of 47. Tomorrow we should see a good deal of sunshine and warmer with a high of 68. And Saturday temperatures will rise back up into the mid-70s with mostly cloudy conditions. Another round loss for Notre Dame in their ongoing effort to squash the birth control mandate and the Affordable Health Care Act. The university argues the mandate, which forces them to provide contraception to employees and students, violates their religious freedom from government interference. University leaders also argue the compromise to have the insurer provide coverage still makes them an accessory to sin. The South Bend Tribune reports the university did not persuade the federal appeals court that the exemption offered by the government did not satisfy its religious concerns. From the 1480 Newsroom, I'm Phil Kuhn. Have a great day.